Unfortunately, cannot sell these in the States anymore. Oh my goodness. Our stingray is out and about tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> Before I start today's video, Caferos, I'm doing a meet and greet at Top Shelf. On September 21st, I'll be there. There's gonna be some crazy deals, crazy sales on fish, corals, and vertebrates, you name it, there'll be sales on it. Even fish tanks, I believe there's sales on. Come meet me, hang out. I believe my buddy Gio's gonna be there with me. It's gonna be a great time. I'm excited to meet all of you in Orlando. The address is right here on the screen. Also, all the information is in the description. Again, meet and greet, September 21st in Orlando. I hope to see you there at Top Shelf Aquatics. All the information is down below. See you there, and uh, enjoy the video. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Now, today, inside this building here behind me is all of my baby turtles. I've got a heck of a lot of them. Look at all these little yellow bellies here. Like, and they're not so little anymore. They're actually growing up super fast. Up here inside this one, I think we'll probably leave a lot of these pink bellies. Oh, he probably won't be taking these guys. Oh, he just grabbed my hand. How cute. Probably won't be taking a lot of these just because I plan to eventually put these on PC Aquatics. Look at these big old Indian Spotteds. Unfortunately, cannot sell these in the States anymore. So these guys can't even put on the website, although these are beautiful turtles. I've got some baby turtles as well, like little tiny and snapping turtles and stuff like that but for the most part turtles like this the yellow bellies and stuff they're going somewhere today and that somewhere is where everything started this entire channel literally started my mom and dad's backyard more on that in just a little bit we've got some big big updates here at the farm the goats are all enjoying some some hay and by the way ever since we had Hector come and drill holes in the bottom of this. None of the poop stays up there now. It falls down and through, which is so much better. Look at how big the dang turkeys are getting. It's insane. Look at that thing. Almost a full-blown turkey. Hey, bud. You just bite my shorts? Lady May, your gut is literally mad. Look how big she's getting. You need to get on another diet again, girl. It's because all that fruit that the three natives has been giving us. Our local acai place has <laughs> been giving us fruit every single day. So these pigs have been eating, eating a lot. Oh, these guys over here hanging out. Oh. All right. Put a lot, guy. Look at this. Things are missing in here. Well, let me explain. This morning, Hector came over and we hung the sign, the PC sign on the outside of the building. <laughs> Very go, amigo. Right front and center on the outside of the fish building, we are getting this PC logo right here hung up. Big shout out to Adaptive Reef. They sent this out. If you can see the LED strip behind it, and there's also, I'm a, um, well, this obviously lights up as well. They're gonna hang it up on the outside. The wires will come through the backside. All this needs to go to the warehouse. This, this, and all of these shipping stuff needs to go to the warehouse. If you're saying, what warehouse? Well, that you'll soon to figure out. I haven't showed the new headquarters yet, and I got it because I needed some more room inside the fish building. So Brenton and I actually went halves on a sick warehouse in Jupiter, Florida, my hometown. So that's super, super cool. That's another big thing I got to show y'all Caferos eventually. Right now it's still getting done, so I don't want to spoil that. Hector was all there all weekend. But right there is the mount for the giant LED logo. And now you just hang it. Easy, amigo. One, two, three. 30, 31. Wires are through. And we moved this entire crate and boxed up pretty much everything, including all the new hats, which there's not many of the new camo. I think there's, there's like seven left. That's the new camo, the bottom limb. And then here's the old camo. I guess they're both still like only a month old, but those are linked down below. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks. Look at that. Now granted, I gotta cut back these trees a little bit, but tonight, this is probably gonna look insane. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine. You guys just saw what it looked like at night before I even saw what it looked like at night. This just looks incredible. Wow. Big shout out to Adaptive Reef. Again, thank you so much for the sign. And we have another one. They sent two of these, and obviously the other one's gonna go inside the warehouse back at shop. So this is incredible at night. I'm sure it just looks absolutely nuts. I mean, especially once like the whole outdoor area is done here, but like you come up to the pool and then just bam, PC right in the middle. Now again, a big shout out to them. They sent so much stuff. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, lots of signs, which by the way, we will be hanging up a lot of their signs in the building as well today. Um, so you'll see these hanging up. We've got literally just like, I think that's $700 right here. This Trident, which is a great product. We use it in our tank inside. And it's just great stuff just laying all around. This is all from the inside that crate. Adaptive Reef, 
Big shout out to you, Neptune Systems, Ecotech Marine. Much love, I appreciate it. This stuff will go to good use and I did give one of these away. I've got to ship it out uh, to a viewer watching the unboxing video. And now they're working on moving a lot of the stuff. They already got the crate and most of the merchandise out of here and they got to move the desk and stuff like that. All that is being moved into the new warehouse. I will reveal that very shortly within the next two weeks to y'all watching. Right, Hector? Oh, yes, How does sir. the new warehouse look? Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. To the pond talk, though, some really good news on the predatory pond. This pond has jack, moonfish, or look down, whatever you want to call them, lionfish, and, and a lot more species. Look at Mrs. Puff right here. Mrs. Puff and her boyfriend down there. The horn shark, the batfish, there's the lionfish down there. And as you can see, the remora is getting massive. Look at the size of that thing now, it's crazy. But yesterday, I came in late at night to just do a little bit of feeding. I like to come out here at night, like midnight literally, to just throw some food. And I caught Mr. Stingray again. Mr. Casey the Stingray came out to visit. Our Stingray is out and about tonight. Whipped out the iPhone because he came out to eat a little afternoon Silverside snack. Come on buddy, come this way. All the food is over here. I've noticed one thing about the Stingray is he loves to go around the rock. He loves the rock. Oh, he's out in the middle now. He's probably crushing. Oh, that's so cool getting him on video doing his thing. Eating away. I never really get him on video doing anything, so I'm going to soak this moment in. And maybe this will get him to start coming out a little bit more and be a little bit more confident. I've got some news for you on the shark pond. Big, big news. This is huge news. Look at our sergeant majors. They're dang near trained to literally come up to the window. Oh, looks like I got to do a little window cleaning. But uh, unfortunately, this I don't think is going to stay. I know. It's, it's, it's sad news. And more on this in an upcoming video this week. The crates, I believe, got to go. Here's why I say this. They are letting off a certain toxin that is in the wood. I could then go get like actual real lobster traps, but I don't know where to do that other than the Florida Keys, and that's five hours away. What I do know, or should I say who I do know, is Carob Sea. The same company that we rockscaped the reef pond with. Except for this time, we got double the load of rock delivering. More on this in about a week. Make sure you're subscribed, of course. But I think we're going to do a massive rock circular ledge structure, which will look insane. But the only way to do that is lower the water all the way down, remove the current structure, build the other structure, and then fill it back up with two truckloads of water. And if you're not familiar, each truckload is $600 USD. So although it's a little hiccup in the road, this is actually super good because we figured out what's dealing with the copper. We had taken a piece of wood to Tommy's and tested the piece of wood and that piece of wood was releasing some sort of toxin that isn't good for the water, or at least not good for sharks and stingrays. Copper levels cannot be a thing when you own sharks and stingrays, or to be honest, any invertebrate as well. So unfortunately, the uh, lobster cage trap mechanism is probably not gonna be a thing, as of right now at least it isn't, but keep in mind, we're gonna make the craziest, most ledged, insane scape, you already know we're gonna snap, here on Tuesday. So we got really big plans this week for videos, fellas. Very big plans. And then about a week after that, we'll be good. We'll be good to ship our shark from New York. From literally from New York. If you didn't watch the zebra shark video, gotta go check that out. That is our shark, $7,500 shark. It is beautiful and it's soon to come and uh, go into the shark pond, which I'm very excited about and I know for a fact by the comments and stuff, y'all are just as excited, if not more than I am. And one of the biggest reasons why we got this warehouse, I know I'm bouncing back and forth to conversation conversations, but I just want to get you guys caught, caught up, is the space. Now look at this. We bring all this stuff over. I can do all my merchandise and everything out of this warehouse, and now we have this other space right here to, you know, do what? How in the world could you have guessed that? Build a pond. That's insane that you guessed that. I couldn't. How did you just guess that? But I need your help, you watching. What the heck should I put right here? It's gonna be a, a pond like this along the whole side and then it'll have a gigantic acrylic window. But do we do salt or do we do fresh? I personally think fresh. And I say that because we're doing a lot of salt water. We've got the shark pond, we've got the reef pond, we've got the predatory pond. We've got a lot of salt water going on in here. Let's make this thing fresh. What do we put in it? Comment down below. I think it's time we now get started with today's video. Alrighty folks, we're here inside the turtle house. Now soon we'll be having on PC Aquatics a lot of baby turtles delivered to the house and we'll be able to ship them out. Look at these. I got little, these are container lids right here. These are the containers that they go in to ship. These are the boxes they go in once you put them in the containers with the lid to ship. No, I've actually just been kind of practicing on packaging and I when I went to New York to Predatory Fins, I watched them package and we've got it pretty dialed in. So after six, eight months I think now of just pretty much organizing the website and practicing it soon, we'll have baby turtles available for you to purchase. I actually finally got my license 
It took, uh, I got this months ago. I still haven't done anything with it. But it took eight months to get this, just to be able to sell these turtles online. Today though, although we're not receiving a bunch of baby turtles, we are rehoming a bunch of baby turtles. And I told you in the beginning of the video where they're going. So what we're gonna do is pretty much just grab a handful. Look at this. Baby turtles. Look at that one's got a red belly, but a bunch of little yellow bellies. Put them all in there. This is going to be so cool to watch all them in my mom's pond. And keep in mind, there's a lot of turtles in my mom's pond. Um, I'm actually going to be making something massive for a bunch of turtles in my backyard very soon. And I'll pretty much take all the turtles from my mom's house, not all of them, but a lot of them, majority of them, from there and bring them to back to here. So there's always animals moving between mine and my mom's house, turtle and fish wise, but that's the only way to keep it, you know, flowing. I'm gonna undo this, take this out right here, our little plug, and what it does, it drains out of the hole inside of this tub. Hector and I made this little contraption. And what it does is run right out the gutter underneath and out the side of the building right there. So that's how we keep all these tubs very clean. As you can see, for the most of the time at least, they are crystal clear, clean. Our little albino. It's the best mechanism I've ever had done in my life. So when we have a bunch of turtles, there's 15 total tubs here. When we have all these loaded with baby turtles, it's super easy to just unplug this, slowly run water like that, and it just does a water change naturally on its own. I come back in 10 minutes, crystal clear. I turn this off, I plug it back. When the water is at the correct level, and boom, you have crystal clear water just like this right here. Look at all these, look how big these pink belly side necks are getting. That is insane. Isn't it crazy to see them breathe? Ew. Right? I don't like mm. that. It's weird. But these guys are gonna be actually available soon too. All this stuff's just, it's a big old plan. And y'all Caferos that watch all the videos, I know there's so much going on. We have, let me just, let me just put this in perspective real quick. YouTube, live streaming, PC Aquatics, real estate, I think that's it. Four different things going on in my life, but it sounds like there's so much more. The farm is just so busy. I think I'm gonna take this map turtle. He's gotten really, really big, and it's one of the other species of turtles here that I think is uh, big enough to move on and over to my parents' house. Now, I could take these bigger Indian spotteds over here. These guys are huge, but to be honest with you, God forbid they escape my mom's house, I'd be very upset. So um, these guys I'm just gonna keep here for now and uh, they'll just continue to grow in these tubs at the moment and I um, think we're good for now. This is it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine baby turtles. Put the cap on and get to my mom's house. Before we go to my mom's house though, I forgot, I gotta feed the animals. I gotta feed everyone. The goats are eating their hay, they're good. Um, for the most part, you want the goats to not eat so much grain it actually can cause stones, kidney stones, which is what happened to Brenton's goat, Stephen. Um, so they eat a little bit less grain nowadays and more hay, uh, but we'll go to the pigs and start feeding them. Dude, I got I caught a big tarpon last night. I saw that. Yeah. I got screwed, look what you did to me. Ooh. Did you bite you? Yeah, I got a big old tarpon last night and he cut me up. Pop the screen, mm. picture of that tarpon. Big old tarpon in Miami. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat for some reason, you'll see a lot of stuff that I never even put on YouTube. And a lot of stuff that happens on YouTube is shown on Snapchat before YouTube. I post daily on there. So every single day you'll see content from me. So if you like the content here, watch there as well. And that's Snapchat's in the description down below. Ooh. We have a good old grain and corn mix, which is my favorite every time I do this, I have to eat some. That's how you know I'm a Floridian. See these pants? Flamingo. Or doesn't a flamingo also mean that I, uh, oh, that's a pineapple. Upside down pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, she loves this stuff. What is this? This is fly spray. She loves it. Watch. She's going to immediately just go scratch herself on the wood. I think what she does is when I spray it on the wood, she puts the cracks between her eye in the wood so that the, the flies don't go to it. See? Scratch her. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Gosh dang it. Mia, what do you, look at her. How's the hot tub? She's wagging her tail in the hot tub. Probably feels nice. It probably does feel super good. It's not hot right now. I turned it off last night. So, Mia, what are you doing? Oh, my, my Mia lovers out there are loving this content right now. What are you doing in the hot tub, huh? What are you doing? You know that you're allowed. She knows she's allowed. That's why she does it. She gets so hot out here that she'll just jump in the pool by herself. Don't, don't shake. All right, we're here at my mom's house. Mother, you can, don't be camera shy. <laughs> Come on. I have, I believe, nine turtles. 
Now there's a lot back here. They'll be moved soon. Eventually, we'll make something at the house and we can put some of them. Disperse, you know? Yeah. Ready? Are these all just... <gasps> oh, they're climbing! Look oh, at them! <laughs> oh, God, do you smell that? Oh, look oh, at them! Spider-Man! <laughs> Spider-Man! Oh, they stick! How in the... How did he do that? Oh, that's uh, really bad! <laughs> If you remember this backyard, mom, this is the OG backyard. It's beautiful. It's now has a lot less ponds than it did, but standing where I'm standing right now at one point, there was a mini Molly pond. Molly's and Platy's, and I know a lot of you watching remember those days. Mom, I know you want to cry right now. It's fine. Don't don't tear on camera. The, those days are over. I know. It's sad. I had a dream last night. That you had a dream? I was pretty getting rid of all your toys. Oh my <laughs> god. You were crying. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We did like a a little feature of Paw Coupon over there. There's, there's so much back here. This is where it all started. Look at all these turtles. Look at them all coming up. It's fine. They're going to flip back over in a sec. Look at them all coming up to us. Mom, you feed all these like daily, right? Like yes. like hand feed? I okay. hand feed some. I put yellow bellies in here when they were this big. And look how big they are now. That's crazy, Mom. Those are my babies. They're growing so fast. And I even have some that we rescued, like this guy with the cut. Show. He's a is he? Oh yeah. This is his friend. Is this a yellow bit? Oh my gosh, that's not his friend. That's one of mine. Really? Mom, they're huge. Look at the size difference. Even the goldfish in here are huge. I can't believe how beautiful this is, by the way. Everything is grown in so nice. The pond looks amazing. We need some B-roll. Roll the B-roll. Mom, enough is enough. Let's do it. Map turtle going in first. What is this guy's name? Henry. What's the guy with the map? Diego. Diego. Okay. Diego. Backpack with the map. And the du Dior? Dora. 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 Dior. <laughs> There's a bunch of them, Mom. Here, you can grab some. You don't want to touch them? They stink. I know they do. Look at the map turtle. He's like, where in the heck am I? Oh, he's beautiful. Well, here's three of your friends. Him. Little homies. Yeah, you, you know why they call them? You know why they call them map turtles? Because they have like patterns on them. Like a map. Oh. He just sank the bottom. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. He's so Mom, they're tiny. He's so cute. And they're going to be sitting like this up on the rock. be able to stay in here? Oh yeah, they're going to stay. They might swim around and walk the oh. land and try to figure life out, but they'll be here. I love how many turtles are back here. It's actually awesome. I think I have another map turtle. There you go. Look at them all. There's mom, they love it. Look, he's climbing up on the- Are you kidding? This is paradise. paradise for them. Wow, I just can't believe how big some of them got. Look at this guy, he doesn't want to go in there. <gasps> oh! oh Look at the cool. size of that thing. Holy Isn't smokes. Cool? They just got Come so on, big. Go there he goes. Well, folks. See my albinos? Oh, you got big painted. See, look how big the painted's got. Albinos, the painted turtles. This is Malaysians. Mom, yes. can we find one? Three Malaysians. I, usually, I back this there. is usually where one's sitting. Oh! <laughs> there, he there he is. Okay, that is the male. That's the male. Why, Mom? Tell him why. Because, wait a minute. It's not the male. Nope. nope. I was just waiting what? for you to make the mistake. Yeah. So the male usually has a um, curved part right here, and that's because the male mounts the female, of course. So this is actually one of our female Malaysian box turtles, and they could fully cover themselves. They'll bring the front of their shell up, back of it up, and they pretty much just a shell. I mean, you couldn't, if you were trying to eat this thing, you'd kind of be screwed. This is her favorite spot right there. Sometimes there's another one over here. Yep, there it is. Goodness gracious, dude, I'm dialed in. There's the male, see there that? There it is. So essentially, they can mount perfectly. And we've had some babies already back here in the past. Well, folks, just like that, my mother got like 10 new turtles. Thank you. Until next time, I'm never coming back. Love y'all, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> All the new turtles are here in the OG backyard. We call it the OG backyard because truthfully, everything started right back here. This was where my very first pond ever was ever made by myself. We had little rocks on the and side of the line. Rocks on the side. I'll pop a picture up here. It's literally right there is where the very first pond I ever made was by hand. And that was my old bedroom window right there. And I used to feed my fish, the Paku and stuff, right outside that window. So it's cool to come here 
and uh, see it. I come here maybe like once a year. Yeah, it's always nice to see it. The pond looks great. I have a pond guy that comes here once a month to make sure everything's running, flowing correctly. The waterfall's good. And uh, he's a good guy, isn't he? He's great. He does a great job. Great. He's so nice. Yeah. I love him. He's so sweet. So this is it. Backyard's kicking it. It's still kicking it, folks. The OG Backyard's still active. Much love. Subscribe down below if you're new. Make sure to hit the like button. Go follow my mom on Instagram. She doesn't have one. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.